there are many arguments. As a matter of fact, Tom Hartman has written a very insightful piece that describes the creation of the NRA as a tool to make sure that the right to bear arms will be fully enforced. An organization that wanted to make sure that happened also to protect those rights of landowners, particularly those in the South, as part of that deal to make sure they could protect their way of life, which included owning slaves. So there, you can see some connection there as we move throughout our history. That all too often, when we're having discussions about race in this country, uh, we don't delve into it as deeply as we really should. We don't look at, at the various sides of the experiences of race and the challenges in our society of equality. If we go back and look for a minute at almost in, any instance that have gone on, whether it's the shooting of Amadou Diallo in New York, uh, whether it's the, the uh, darkening of the images of O.J. Simpson on national magazine covers, or even the Willie Horton syndrome that we talk about when uh, Willie Horton, an African-American convict in, uh, in Massachusetts, ended up getting out on early release, uh, involving himself in another crime that was utilized in a presidential campaign to scare people away from Michael Dukakis as a too liberal governor that's going to allow these criminals, again, depicted as African Americans with very wild hair all over the place, with this darkened, sinister, shadowed look that too often also appears in magazines and other images. This is what you have to fear. And many people say that it was that approach utilized in that political arena that cost Michael Dukakis the election. And it's, it's probably very well true. So we've, we've seen these public relations tools that were utilized first to control us in servitude, and now in many ways you can argue these old images are resurrected and utilized as a tool to even control us now.